Hey, let's make some stone pillars out of everyday junk. First off, here's everything we need for this project. Some toilet paper rolls, a bit of cardboard, and some egg packaging. First off, we're going to start by cutting the egg packaging into our preferred brick size. I went with 1 by 2 cm size because I wanted this build to be rather quick, but of course the smaller you'd make them, the better it will look. It's just a compromise with how much time you want to put in. Reason I'm using the egg packaging as my stone is because on its inside there is a very defined texture to the cardboard that serves pretty great as rock. After I finish cutting enough bricks, I cut circles out of cardboard to cap off the ends of the toilet paper rolls. This doesn't need to be precise or pretty since it will be covered with bricks soon enough. Now it was just a matter of hot gluing the bricks in place while making sure to offset each row. There are many different aspects of this hobby that people can find enjoyable. For me personally, what I love most is taking something that would normally just be thrown out as trash and actually making something from it. It grants me a strange sense of fulfillment, like I'm not just an oxygen-wasting machine at least. Anyways, for the top I just cut a smaller circle out of the egg cartridge and circled it with more bricks. Now you can technically call this done and move on to painting, but as a bonus step I wanted to fill some of the gaps between the bricks. For that I'll be using some plaster mixed to a soupy mixture and spread it all over. I then come back with more water and try to remove as much from the top surface. Once everything was dry I gave it a coating of Mod Podge and black paint to seal in the cardboard and the plaster. I went with my usual way of painting stone by starting off with a dark grey base coat. After it was dry I came back in and painted different bricks with varying colors to add more interest and variety. Now to bring out the details I did an overall dry brush with a tan. And this step really lets the texture of the egg cartridge shine through. Next I gave everything an overall wash to unify all the colors. I chose to try oil washes this time in hopes that it would seek the crevices more and wouldn't dull everything down as much, but alas, that was not the case. After a very long drying time, I came back in with a light dry brush to bring back all the details that were lost in the last stage. And honestly, that's it. This is a really simple and super cheap beginner-friendly build. It's also really durable, I wouldn't be afraid throwing it into a bin or letting kids handle it. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed and hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye!